Welcome to the start of the second half of Formula 3 in 2019. It's round five of the FIA F3 season. Five red lights for Formula 3 in Budapest. They go out and we're underway with a decent enough getaway for the pole sitter. But Max Futrell's putting pressure on. Vips has been swallowed. He is down to fourth position at the moment. But it's Lungard ahead of Futrell. One and two into turn number one for ART with the Trident trying to go around the outside. That's Nico Kari up into third position. Release he was for the moment off the road there, all over the road. Richard for sure trying to keep it together on the exit, the young Dutch driver, but it's Lungard ahead of his teammate and ART 1-2. Yellow flag in the middle part of the racetrack and off the road goes the Sauber junior driver of Raul Hyman has gone off at just before, well, the exit of turn five was running in 20th position and into the side of Lawson and round he goes. Vips is just checking that he's not under threat before maybe launching an attack. He's going to go for a late move, looking for third position. Oh, he's forced his rival into a mistake. Kari goes deep. Can Vips pounce? He'll be hoping he can, but still Kari hangs onto it for the time being. It's going to be who breaks latest into turn number two. Kari can see it there. He's been forced wide into a part of the racetrack he wouldn't want to be on. Well, front tire is a really bad night. Oh, here goes Zips then, forcing the defensive move. Trying to go around the outside, can he do it? Tries the up and under, opens the steering to try and switch back. But Kari saw that coming and nicely placed. He's looking for his fourth trip to the rostrum this year. Goes to the outside line, up to third. He's got the position now with DRS. If he can get it slowed down, the podium position belongs to him. And this is the battle for third position. Hughes trying to go to the outside, doesn't have the momentum. Does have the DRS though, trying the up and under, trying the switch back. Pulcini going to the inside of Kari. Dragovic is going to sweep around the outside as well. He's up to sixth position. And this was Hughes. His tyres in better shape having hung back whilst Vips was running very, very close to Kari for so many laps. And then Hughes keeping his foot in and taking third position. Making the move to the inside, Armstrong getting through. That is a great, great move there. For the first time in FIA Formula 3, Christian Lungard comes out of the final corner to take the chequered flag and win at the Hungara ring. Yes, mate. What is this? Really, really good job. Finally! Yes, boys! Come on! Oh. Christian Lungard from Denmark is the race winner and a first victory in F3 for Christian Lungard. A matched personal best in F3 for Max Futrell. Hughes on the podium for the second time this year. Yuri Vips now second in the driver's standing. And there was great entertainment there, mainly coming from the strange situation that we saw from uh, Nico Kari. But no one was going to touch Lungard today. Welcome back to Budapest for the conclusion of the F3 weekend. We were last on track yesterday and today. F3 is the first action of this Hungarian Grand Prix Sunday. Four, five red lights in Budapest for the second time this weekend. We are underway for Formula 3. Pulcini getting a poor getaway and having to cover off Dragovic immediately. That's given Armstrong some breathing room. Straight into the slipstream now. This is the long run in action. I think Armstrong, if he gets his breaking point correct, he's going to maintain the lead, and he does so. Exactly what Armstrong needed. The top three maintaining position, the top four maintaining position, and they're all over the road in the background. One of the HWAs off there. And it was Jake Hughes, I think, getting off at turn number two. Side by side for the lead of the race. Pulcini thinking about it. They bang wheels. They touch. Will they both get through turn number three? Armstrong off the road. He'll be vulnerable, but he's vulnerable into a part of the racetrack where he should be able to cling on. And Pulcini gave it everything. Now, this is on board with second place. And he had so much more traction, but he didn't have the room. That was where they had the contact. Thought they were going to have it again. Trying to go all the way around the outside with the use of DRS. Will Dragovic force him out wide? You bet he will. And Schwartzman knew it was coming. Oh, did they make contact? They did. And then he made contact. He's got a puncher. The driver in third place has got a puncher. Damage to the front wing. Vips is going to the inside. 
Vips is taking his championship rival. Vips is taking a place on the podium. Futrell going through as well. Schwartzman paying the price for that contact with Dragovic as Vips improves to third. Is that Hughes going past Futrell? It is. It's a problem for Max Futrell, who is in fourth position but has got an issue. That's a late one being tried there from Lawson. Oh, he's made contact with the trident in the head. So he hit one trident and got past another. Lawson gets past Kari. Oh, he's damaged his front wing. Lawson has damaged his front wing after that contact with the trident. Oh, and the teammates hit each other through the 14th and final corner. Look at that from Jake Hughes. Better command of the tyres. A wonderful move around the outside. And it looks like it's going to be consecutive podiums. And that's about the only good news that Schwartzman has had today. No real point in sending him out again. Here he is. He's had a lot of frustrating days in 2019. This is not one of them. Marcus Armstrong brilliantly wins in Budapest. His first in the new era of Formula 3. And I had the fastest lap, right? Yes, by far from the beginning. Oh, yes. And he's done it. Armstrong taking the chequered flag in dominant fashion. The race result, which sees him beat Leo Pulcini by 12.6 seconds. Jake Hughes completing the podium his second consecutive third place after a really strong weekend for him and HWA. In fourth place, Yuri Vips clawing back points. Devlin Di Francesco getting closer and not quite able to trouble the scorers yet in 2019. The Canadian was 11th ahead of his teammate Nico Kari. Fabio Scherer in 13th ahead of Kivan Andres. Then Esner, Peroni, Kishore, Laxanen, Beckman made good progress from 28th to 19th. Lorim Zendeli equally making his way through from the back row 